welcome back to my channel. Welcome, of course, to the desk corner. And as you can see, today we have a giant pile of pencils here. And let me tell you guys, I've been meaning to make this video for so long. These pencils have just been sitting around. Basically, I've had this stash of pencils for years now, and I never got around to trying them. It's a bunch of 2B and B grade charcoal and I believe graphite pencils by Conte. This brand seems to be a French brand that I actually have not seen a lot about. The core of these pencils is unusually large. I will compare it to a Faber-Castell 9000 for you guys. Okay, so you can obviously see that these pencils are giant. And here's a comparison to the jumbo Faber-Castell pencils. You can see that the jumbo are still thicker in the barrel here, but look at the core up here. It is pretty similar, I would say. I've actually got one of my smaller sketchbooks here. Now, because of the size of the core of these pencils, I thought that it would be better to try and draw maybe landscapes or maybe something that has less detail because it seems like these pencils would be well suited for covering larger areas and not really smaller details. Why is there a random Prismacolor in here? I'm gonna move that. I've got my miniature sketchbook here. I thought that maybe we could do some very kind of loose, quick drawings because these are large pencils and I imagine they're not as great for uh, small detail. I imagine they're better for filling in larger areas. So that's what I'm going to attempt to practice with them today. And we are reaching 5,000 subscribers very soon on this channel, it looks like. I thought that that's when I could do a 5k giveaway. And if these pencils are good, I thought I could, you know, include a couple of them in each separate giveaway thing because I just have so many of the B and 2B pencils here. So if you guys end up liking how the pencils perform in this video, then let me know. And I, oh, oh, these are not, these are not this, these are different. I'm going to go ahead and start out by doing a little bit of swatching here just to swatch the two. This won't take too long, obviously. We don't have that many pencils to swatch. But I've got the gray one, which is the charcoal, as it says here. This one just says noir, and it's black. It's a little bit weird. I thought maybe the gray was going to be graphite at first, but it's obviously charcoal, and the black is something else. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the B pencil for the charcoal. Oh boy. So obviously this would be good for doing like a large background or something like that. Let's go ahead and switch that to manual. Here's the 2B. These are very standard charcoal pencils. I think the gray is throwing me off and I keep thinking, yeah, they're graphite, but obviously they're not. So there's the B and the 2B. I think that these would be well suited for large background areas because of how thick the core of the pencils really are. I'm gonna put that into focus again so you could see. Um, these have a very thick core, so this might work well for covering large areas fast. I don't know if it's particularly my style. I haven't been using this form of charcoal in a while because it's just so messy and powdery. So if any of you guys like it, I have a bunch of these I can include in uh, separate giveaways or something like that because I really doubt that I would have much use for more charcoal pencils like this. Now let's go ahead and give the Pierre Noir a try. So I'm going to start with B again. I think that's a carbon pencil. This feels like a carbon pencil. You can hear it goes on a lot smoother. There's not really any dust compared to the charcoal. So that's the B, and then this is the 2B. Feels kind of sticky the same way that the carbon pencils usually do as well. And you still get that dark value. Obviously two very different feels and consistencies here. So this makes a lot of sense now. I am curious though if this brand has graphite pencils as well and I would like to try them at some point, actually. Have any of you guys tried this brand? I'm not sure if this is 
a brand that's more famous maybe in Europe or just particularly in France, but I'm interested to know if you guys have used these types of pencils before. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to flip to a new page here, my little travel sketchbook. We've got some of my other demonstrations that I've done. And I think I'm gonna start with the carbon pencils, do a little landscape scene maybe and then we'll see what we can do with the charcoal after because those seem to be quite messy. So for this demonstration, I decided to go with subject matter that I normally would not use at all and something just totally different. You can see me sketching this kind of winding river that sits at the base of these mountains. There are pine trees sitting on these mountains as well. And I thought these pencils would be fun to create little pine trees with and just do some very basic loose shading. For landscape scenes like this, I like to keep my techniques a little bit loose and just have fun with it. And using a larger pencil like this definitely helped me to not focus too much on all those tiny details and focus more on the larger picture. I also like that these are not very messy, so I'm not wiping dust off the page half the time you can see how I'm getting that light shading there too, even though I only have a B and a 2B to work with. I am going to include the reference photo that I used for this. I believe it was Unsplash or Pixabay where I found this in case any of you guys want to sketch out this scene as well because it really was fun to sketch this out and I do recommend it if you're someone who's new to drawing and you're trying to practice your techniques. This is not too difficult to sketch but also can help you to get the perspective and proportions right and practice some different textures like pine trees, rocks, and water. So if you're interested in that, yeah, I'll link the reference photo in the description. Overall, I do like how these pencils perform. One thing I didn't get to testing is actually sharpening these pencils. I decided to kind of just leave them blunt. On the other side of the river, we have more of like a flat slope that looks like maybe it was washed a bit. Maybe there aren't any trees growing on this side. So the texture is a little bit different on this side. Maybe it's a little bit lower. And then I go on to work on the slope in the back here too. I'm not sure how great of a job I did on the river itself. The proportions might have been just a little bit strange because I sketched it so quickly, but overall I think it looked fine in the end. Kind of a serene, nice scene here of nature. When I actually went to shade in the river, I was trying to copy the water formations and I think it might have messed up the picture a little bit. So then you'll see me work on the very back part of the river in a minute and I think that one area came out a little bit better than the front side of the river, but you know, that's okay. I think I should have left the river a little lighter too to create some more contrast here because it's kind of blending in. And that's the issue with using just like a black pencil like this. Even the 2B, it's slightly darker than the B, but nothing too significant. So it's hard to get the right values and all of that, but that's okay. It's not anything serious, just a fun sketch for you guys that I wanted you guys to watch and hopefully enjoy. But as I'm looking at it now, I think the river did look better when it was left a little wider. Oh well. Just to clarify, yes, I have a lot of these pencils, so I'm going to throw them in any giveaways that I do as like an extra. Okay, you guys, here's the final piece. This is more like a sketch, really. I find it difficult to create enough uh, value, variation in the value with just a black pencil, essentially, which is how these carbon pencils are. But I tried my best and I think it actually was a fun little landscape um, river sketch. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I am going to grab the charcoal pencils now and do another fun one. But I might switch papers because this particular paper seems to not really work too well with the charcoal. A lot of dust was being created. I'm going to see if I can get it to work better on another type of paper. 
And now for our charcoal pencil demonstration, I actually found a scrap piece of Stonehenge Legion colored paper here. I wanted to use a scrap piece of paper so I wasn't cutting out a big sheet again, and I thought that maybe using a toned paper would be beneficial since I'm demonstrating a charcoal pencil, which obviously we're not going to get a lot of value here, it's pretty much just black. I decided to sketch in a little tree branch because we're going into the fall season, it felt very fall. There's no leaves on here, just a lot of little branch details that I thought might be fun, and I decided that I would go in with my charcoal pencil and try to create some fun contrast and still have some highlights and things like that even though I'm working with charcoal. I also chose this paper over my sketchbook because there's less tooth so less powder is going to come out all over the place. Now since I was still pressing pretty hard, of course there's still going to be a lot of powder. It actually smeared all over my drawing and that's okay. That's the one thing about charcoal that is a little frustrating is how much it just smears all over the place, especially these types of very powdery pencils. But I think I'll still include these in the giveaway for some of you who actually like this type of charcoal and also for those of you that like to make charcoal powder, I think it would be perfect. One technique that's fun to use with charcoal is kind of just spreading some of the powder around to create different values. So that's what I did to create a bit of a highlight on the branch, on a couple parts of the branch actually. At this point it would have been useful to sharpen the actual pencil, but I was afraid to even try to do that. So I just ended up trying to create those little details with a blunt pencil and honestly it turned out fine. And there are the two completed final pieces. We have my mountain river scene done with the carbon pencils and then of course the spooky tree branch done with the charcoal pencils. This is the Conte brand of Paris. Not really sure what else this brand has to offer, but some of you might already be familiar with it and I'm curious to try more of their pencils in the future. Again, these pencils will probably be included in any future giveaways that I do, including the upcoming 5k giveaway. I will also probably upload the real time versions of this to my Patreon for those of you who are curious. I'll link the Patreon down below. But as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think or if you've tried these pencils, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!